Part 2 Using the Quick Check on Cast One Piece Rotors. Rotor service starts at the vehicle. Determine if the rotor is serviceable based on its thickness, runout, and condition. If the rotor can be serviced, index it to a wheel stud before removing. Once off, the rotor's mating surfaces will have to be cleaned. Use an angular grinder with the appropriate disc to remove the rust and scale from the inside and outside surfaces of the rotor. Once clean, place the rotor on a clean, flat surface. Install the rotor to the quick chuck by positioning the jaws into the rotor's center hole. Tighten the jaws by inserting the key into one of the key slots located in the side of the chuck. Turn the key counterclockwise to expand the jaws into the rotor's center hole. The quick chuck will automatically self-center the rotor. Complete the process by making sure the chuck jaws are tight. Select the largest possible backing plate that will seat against the machined surface of the rotor. Make sure the arbor mating surface and quick chuck backing plate are clean. Install the backing plate onto the lathe arbor with the offset facing outward. Next, install the quick chuck and rotor assembly onto the arbor followed by the appropriate spacers. Complete the setup by installing the arbor nut and vibration damper. Next, position the twin cutter to allow machining of both friction surfaces. Depending on the rotor design, the tool holders may need to be adjusted to allow proper clearance. The twin cutter mounting bolt should be tight or vibration could occur. At this point, we are ready to check the setup. This procedure is called a scratch cut. Position the bits approximately one quarter inch away from either the inside or outside edge of the rotor. Bring the bit in until it just touches the rotor. This is the scratch cut. Now zero the depth of cut reference. Back the cutting tip away from the rotor a small distance and turn the lathe off. Observe the scratch cut. If the cut is at least 50% around the rotor, proceed with the machining process. If the scratch cut is less than 50%, then the setup needs to be verified. Two things will cause a scratch cut of less than 50%. The first is the rotor has run out and needs to be machined. The second is a problem in the setup. Adapter and rotor cleanliness are the main causes of setup problems. To verify the setup, loosen the arbor nut. While holding the backing plate, rotate the quick chuck and rotor 180 degrees. Retighten the arbor nut. This process changes the relationship of the rotor and adapters. Turn the lathe on and then move the twin cutters in or out a small distance. Make a second scratch cut by turning the dial until the depth reads zero. On lathes without this feature, turn the knob into the same number as the first scratch cut. This process makes each scratch cut the same depth, which makes comparing the cuts easier. Back the cutting tip off a small distance and turn the lathe off. Compare the two scratch cuts. If the problem is in the rotor, the cuts should be on top of one another. A setup problem will cause the second cut to be in a different position from the first. If this is the case, disassemble everything and check for cleanliness, correct adapters, and for nicks on the mating surface. Do not proceed with the machining process until the scratch cuts are in the same position. Doing so will induce runout into the rotor. An advantage of the quick chuck is there are fewer parts and it is easier to keep clean. The benefit is you rarely run into adapter caused setup problems. Since both scratch cuts are in the same position, we are ready to make our first cut. Position the inner cutting tip for the first cut by turning the knob until the depth of cut reads zero. Bring the outside cutting tip in until it just touches the rotor. Zero the outside depth of cut reference. Note. On rotors with excessive rust buildup, it will be necessary to remove the rust ridge before continuing. Failure to do so could cause the lathe to stall during the machining process. Move the twin cutter in until both cutting tips reach the smallest diameter breaking surface. Care should be taken so the outside tip does not contact the rotor hat. At this point, we have to choose from a single or multiple pass technique. The single pass technique is used when the scratch cut is nearly all the way around the rotor and very few other conditions are present. 
Most rotors are machined using the multiple pass technique. To perform the first pass, turn the outside cutting bit in 4 thousandths of an inch and tighten the lockdown knob. Repeat this process with the inside cutting tip. Set the feed rate to fast cut and engage the rotor feed. The advantage of the quick cutters is they produce a finished cut during the fast cut operation. Once both friction surfaces are smooth, the machining process is complete. There is no need to perform a slow cut. Disengage the feed when the cut is complete. Measure rotor if necessary to determine how much material is left. Based on the rotor's condition, it may be necessary to take additional cuts. Caution: Do not machine a rotor below its machine to thickness. This can create an unsafe condition. Most industry experts agree that a non-directional finish is a good way to complete the process. There are a number of tools available to perform this operation. Here we are using 150 grit sandpaper on a sanding block. Sand each side for approximately 60 seconds maintaining full surface contact while at the same time applying a slight rocking motion. Before installing the rotor on the vehicle, wash the friction surfaces using a mild soap solution. Washing the rotor removes all materials from the machining process. Failure to wash the rotor will result in material being transferred into the friction material. This can result in brake squeal. Before installing the rotor, clean the hub surface. All rust buildup must be removed or run out will be induced. Once the hub has been cleaned, install the rotor with the index marks aligned. As you can see, the quick chuck adapter offers a number of advantages over the conventional bell clamp adapters. Quicker setup time. Less pieces results in less maintenance and cleanup time. Unique design results in more accurate setup and virtually eliminates adapter induced runout. Now we will learn how the quick chuck adapter revolutionizes the refinishing of composite rotors.